Are you looking for the best way to set up your web developer portfolio so you get better jobs, better types of clients, and you can charge more for your projects? Well, in this video, I'm going to describe exactly that, how to set up your portfolio, how to make it look pretty, where to get it, and what types of items to include in it so you get those top tier clients. So why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, I've been in web development since 2008, and I've helped over 750 people build a web development agency where they were able to achieve freedom and get lots of clients. Also, they were able to build an amazing portfolio. So we're gonna talk about exactly how to do that. Before we start, click the subscribe and the bell notification icon. So the first thing you need to know when you're building your web developer portfolio is there is never enough proof. Today, most marketing works with proof. And the more proof you have, the better quality clients you can get. So the types of proof that there are are almost infinite, but you want quality, quantity, and variety. And the more you have that, the better, because that's how people make decisions these days. If you look at Amazon, for example, things or items with the most good reviews, negative and positive, that describe the product in various ways, allow for products to be sold for more money and more frequently and rank higher in the algorithm. That's a good way of looking at how to sell things online these days, even if it's a service like web development. So if you're in web development right now, what I would do is I would go back to all the projects you've ever done and I would create a nice white paper, a nice PDF with the description of the project, what was done and what the result was with the client. And moving forward, all clients that you're working with, I would make sure that in the contract it says that you can use this item in your portfolio because it's gonna help you grow your business. Like I would never do business with anyone unless I can use their case study in my portfolio. So what types of things should you do with your clients as well? You can record videos of them of how happy they were working with you and what type of result they got by working with you. You can also have them write a little letter about you of what it was like working with you if they're very uncomfortable being on camera. You can do this while screen sharing their website that you've created for them or whatever you've created for them because web development is not just websites, then describe they describe with you what was done and how it was done. This can be done on a simple Zoom call with screen share. Furthermore, you can have a website just for your portfolio, or if you already have a website, you can put a page of your website dedicated specifically for portfolio items. Currently for my business, I have a page with hundreds of portfolio items just on there based on categories of the types of clients that I've worked with, right? So whenever someone wants to talk to me, they have to look at that page as well because, well, I don't wanna like have, have to convince them that I'm legit or something. There's Here's like 200 portfolio items, <laughs> like I'm legit, don't worry about it. And people tend to believe that. So once you have portfolio items, Keep getting more portfolio items. You never have enough portfolio items and put them everywhere in all your marketing, all your communication, everywhere put portfolio items. Any part of your funnel put portfolio items. It's very important because it really, really helps you make your sales calls easier and it helps you get much better quality clients. Another thing you can do is go to canva.com and canva.com allows you to create very pretty portfolio items. Even if you're not very good at design, you don't need like a fancy designer for this. You just use Canva. That's what I use a lot of the time for lots of stuff that I do because it just works and it's extremely simple and it pretty much forces you to make things look pretty. So you can make white papers in that, PDF files or even videos. So essentially you want people to agree before working with you that they're gonna be your next success story, your next case study and you're gonna document everything very well, track results of what it is that your deliverable has achieved for their business to the best of your ability and ask them for KPIs within their business of what was achieved, what results were achieved, and then use all of that to create beautiful portfolio items in PDF documents, in video, and in any other format that makes sense for your industry. And as you do this, your business will grow because you're gonna have more proof and good quality clients require good quality proof. So next up, we're gonna talk about how to get started and get clients as a web developer. What are some funnels you can use? What are some skills that are in demand? And so on. So click on the video right here or in the description and have a whole playlist just for developers. So just check it out right there and I'll see you in the next video.